NBA 2K23 is about to get a big patch coming up real soon. It's about to be a really nice patch that could possibly change everything. That's what I really believe, and there's a lot of signs showing that it might happen. There's a lot of people complaining. There's people that even say the game has already been touched. But if you look here, King DJ X, was there any change of limitless takeoff badges? We got notice a player isn't as explosive this Sunday. Yes, I have a perfect workout applied and go limitless takeoff. Just ask him because I feel a difference. And Mike Wayne said no gameplay changes have happened that have already tweeted. So basically, ain't nothing happened. He hasn't touched anything at all. So there's a lot of people thinking that he touched stuff, touched the paint presence, touched this. Mike hasn't touched a dang thing, bro. So because of that, you know something's gonna come, bro. It, it comes every year. Something that does need to be patched is the settings error glitch. The settings error glitch is basically when you change the settings, it doesn't apply, and you close the app, you start over, and it doesn't work. So this is what he said about it. We're aware of the issue. It drives me crazy also. This isn't my team's error, so I don't know the up-to-date minute status, but I do know that front-end and back-end engineers are responsible for saving I.O. who are actually investigating how they can figure out the fix. If anybody posts solid steps of videos for how to get it to happen reliably every time, I'll pass it along. So basically, this is proof that a patch is coming, and it will change this in the future. Now, this is one of the biggest issues because every time you reset that game, it resets your settings. And if you forget, you will go to games with wrong settings on and possibly lose games because of it. And you ain't trying to lose games because of that, man. Nobody is. So that's why it's very important, man. And that's why that needs to be tweaked immediately. Also, he talked about the jump shots, man. He talked about the jump shot timings, the early, late, and all that stuff. This is what he had to say about it. There was a technical reason why we had to go with four instead of five. The feature came very late in the dev cycle, at which one point we're no longer allowed to change the size of our save file format. So we had to go creative and use a doormat setting that wasn't being used. At the end of the day, the names of the four options are completely arbitrary since we changed how shot time and works compared to the previous years anyway. So they might as well have been called one, two, three, four, but we just opt for more understandable names. Uh, we were thinking about going with early, normal, late, very late. That seemed equally weird for 2K24. We'll implement the feature properly and give you guys five options. Basically, that's talking about um, the settings early, late, and all that stuff when you change your jump shot release points. A lot of people don't know that you can do that. You can, you can go to settings and change it. I recommend you go late. I use late, man. Some people use very late. I use late and some people use very early. It just, just mess around with it. Mess around with it, go shoot in the gate aid center and figure it out. Figure out which one works best for you. Now we're gonna talk about a few areas that the community wants passed. Now we're gonna start with my favorite, my personal favorite topic. Unpluckable. Unpluckable has been the controversial thing that everybody wants buff. They want to never be able to be ripped by a lockdown ever. They don't believe that a 99 steel in Hall of Fame gloves should pluck anybody with any kind of unpluckable. But that wouldn't be fair. I've told y'all this multiple times. You can't have a 99 steel while you have an 85 ball handle with gold on pluck. And he has 99, the most extreme stat in the game. The most extreme stat in the game. All right, just like you have a 99.3, you probably gonna hit everything. Now I've seen, this is this what I've seen. I've seen people say, okay, if I got a 99 block, I should be able to block people with 99 dunks. Uh, but you know what, what you will do, if you have a 99 block with Holly Anchor, you probably will stop a lot of people 85 driving dunks. Actually, you probably will. <laughs> you will. You Yes, they may dunk over you and all that, but they most likely won't. And also, I have a bill with Hall of Fame Unpluckable, and I do not get plucked as much as y'all say. I went to the wreck. I play a lot of wreck games. I, I'm, getting plucked isn't an issue, really. I don't really get ripped that much. If I get ripped, most of the time it's here and there, and it's bumps, or I ran into them, or they, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. Them running up and just spamming score don't really happen. With Hall of Fame Unpluckable, get it if you have problems. Put Hall of Fame Unpluck. You don't want to get ripped. Make a make a high ball control build with Hall of Fame Unpluck. Make a 6-4, 96 ball handle, Hall of Fame Unpluck. You probably won't get ripped nearly as much. Trust me, bro. Just try it. There ain't no people running up with 25 steals ripping you. It's not happening unless you blowing through your stamina. And let me give you another tip. If you run out of adrenaline boost, you're going to get ripped more often. A lot of people don't understand that. When you low on adrenaline boost, but you have high stamina, 
you're less likely to hold the ball and they're more likely to rip it. If a lockdown is on all three full adrenaline boosts and you are on two or one, they got a better chance of ripping you. If you on three, they don't rip you as much. This is something that I've practiced. I've practiced now as a guard, keeping three adrenalines when they're about to run up and spam. It's, it's rare, they, especially with Hall of Fame on plug. It don't happen as much as y'all cry about, bro. I promise you. Put a Hall of Fame on plug, watch your adrenaline. Don't let that thing go to zero and spit and, ah, I got ripped! Oh my God! Yes, you got ripped. As you should get ripped every time. You deserve to get ripped if you ain't managing your ball handle right. And honestly, people, if you getting ripped by people with 25 uh, steel, it's a skill issue, bro. Good players are not dealing with it as much as you think. They're, they're fine. They have their 91 percent. They learn. They're already adapting. They're learning certain builds. You have to dribble certain ways. Okay, that's a lock. Okay, I know I have to do this. Go at any comp player. Yes, the steals are annoying, but it ain't to the point where they're not going to play the game where it's unplayable. They can still play. They can still do good. They just have to off the game. You can't dribble crazy in front of a lock, as you should not be. You know he gonna reach and he might get that steal cause you over blowing through stamina trying to get your TikTok clips and that's cute. But they gonna get their TikTok clips of lockdown clips cause they about to spam square. And here go the thing too I want to break down man. I'm on this topic hard. You can't spam square bro. You get three tries on defense. You get three tries to hit square. If you miss one, it's less effective the second time. If you only on one bar, most of the time, it don't even get the steal like that. And if you have no bars, you're not getting no steal. Every lock knows what I'm talking about. If you play D, you even know what I'm talking about. You can't sit there and literally, with my controller, and literally spam square. You might not be able to hear that. You cannot literally spam square. You get three tries, and you have to, you have to basically figure out which try and which attempt are you gonna do. That is the truth. You cannot just spam square. I know people just say you can, but you really can't. Something else that needs to be touched, in my opinion, though, paint defense a little, but honestly, I mean, if people got high driving dunks, they deserve to kind of get a little here and there, especially if you don't have as a 6'9 Demi. If you don't even have interior D in a block rating, and you mad that people are rim running against you, duh! Make a build with interior and a high block and maybe you might slow them down. I mean, people don't think, bro. People just think they should be able to do it all. I should never get ripped. They should stop everybody on their end. They should never get dunked on or over. Bro, if your build is not designed to stop people in the paint, it might not stop people in the paint as much as you want. And the reason the rim run meta exists so strong right now is because shooting is hard. It's a lot easier to just, you know what I'm saying, do do rim runs, then shoot. Most people don't want to shoot and park unless they absolutely have to. And you know that in mind. Maybe you need to make a build with high interior because you know that's the meta. And you know they don't want to shoot. You get you a little perimeter, but max out that block and interior D on your 6'9". You know what I'm saying? Watch that last video I just dropped. He had a 93 block. That video right there will help you. You know what I'm saying? That build can guard it all. But you can't be mad, bro. Y'all can't be mad that people are rim running against you and you ain't got no block rating, bro. You got a 30 block. Of course he gonna, he gonna, you ain't gonna stop that quick drop off one. But anybody who has played against a dominant paint center, when you try to dunk on them, it ain't happening, bro. You miss, even if you get open-ish, you still miss your dunk. You be miss, I be missing quick drops off one against big centers all the time. I've run in there and it fly out. So maybe that's what y'all need to do, man. Change the way y'all play. Realize that some of this stuff People complain about our skill issues, bro. You just not good, bro. Or maybe you just need to change your build. Or maybe you need to change how you play. All right? Stop trying to play like 2K22 and 1, bro. It's not the same game. People want this to be the same game so bad. But no, it's a different meta, different play style, all that. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think about it. To next video. I'll see y'all there, man. Peace.